welcome to How to Eat to Live. On this show, we will be gaining the fundamental knowledge of cooking with the Muslims as taught to us by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. First, let me say this. If you don't have this book right here, log on right now, www.finalcall.com. Get that book. It's not a cookbook, but it's going to help you kind of understand our position, why we cook what we cook, what we cook, what we don't eat, and what we should eat. Today's episode is all about the navy bean. We are going to incorporate the navy bean into three recipes today. We're gonna do a navy bean smoothie, which is a protein smoothie made from fruit and also navy beans. We're going to do a navy bean hummus, kind of a snack, little appetizer dessert. And then we're going to do some navy bean soup, which is the staple in every Muslim household. So first, we're gonna start with the navy bean soup. So measure out two cups of dry navy beans. And what you're looking for when you sort them, you wanna look through them to see if there are any rocks, any little pieces of dirt, any little pebbles that might have fallen in. But as you can see, these beans are nice and white. That's because these beans came straight from our farm in Michigan. So after you sort these, we're gonna take them over to the sink so we can rinse them off. Okay, so just finished washing the beans. Now we're gonna soak the beans. If you don't have a filter on your sink, you might wanna get some distilled water or spring water to soak them in. So here we have some distilled water. So we're gonna pour the water into the bowl with the beans. Again, you wanna cover about two inches because the beans are gonna swell when they soak. So it's gonna be much bigger. They'll probably be almost to the top of the pan after they soak. We have some beans that we already let soak overnight. And here they are. Voila, see camera magic. Sometimes, Depending on how they look, you might want to give them another wash in the sink, rinse them off, pour some more water in before you put them in the pan. But since we know that's already been done, we're going to go from here and we're going to put the beans in the pan so that we can cook them. Now, you might have to add just a little bit more water so that the water can cover the beans as much as they need to cover. Then we're going to take third cup you could use corn oil or olive oil. Some people use butter. I use olive oil, sometimes with a little bit of butter, but for today's sake, we're just gonna do the olive oil. So you're gonna put a third cup of olive oil into the water with the beans. Okay, so we're gonna turn the beans on. We're gonna let them boil. You wanna turn them maybe on medium, medium high. And we're gonna let them boil because as they're boiling, there's gonna be a gas that's gonna form at the top of them, kind of like a foam. And we wanna watch them so that when they start to boil and that starts to happen, we can scrape the foam off because the foam, it's actually a sugar which causes flatulence, meaning will cause you to pass gas, make your stomach not feel so great. So we wanna get that off after these start to boil. So we're gonna leave them here, we're gonna let these boil, and we're gonna start with some of the ingredients that go inside of the bean soup. I like to use two onions, about four cloves of garlic, and then we'll have our seasonings that vary. So make sure when you chop your onions, you don't want really big pieces, even though some of us might blend our soup because you can either eat the soup with whole beans or you can puree it you can have pureed soup. We'll do both um, versions here today so that you see what they both look like. Again, your choice, however you like to cook it, whatever you like to do, that's what you can do. You wanna make sure when you make this soup, it doesn't require any meat. No smoked turkey legs, no chicken wings, none of that sort of thing, because it's enough protein in here where you don't need all of that. You don't wanna add any rice, those sorts of things, you, you want to eat that separate. The bean has enough um, protein in it that you don't need to add anything else 
to it other than the seasonings and the vegetables. I generally do not add the vegetables to the beans until they're cooked because after they're cooked and we add all of these ingredients, we're gonna cook them about another 40, 45 minutes to kind of let the seasonings and the vegetables cook and so everything can kind of blend and mesh real well together. So now we have our dry seasonings. We have our seasoning salt, granulated garlic, we have a teaspoon of cumin, we have cayenne pepper. You can also use black pepper if you like. I like mine a little bit spicy, so I use cayenne pepper. And then we have a half a jar, can rather, of tomato paste. And you don't wanna add any type of salt when you first start cooking the beans because depending on if you've got a batch of good beans or bad beans, the salt can cause them to either cook very slowly or they'll stay hard. I remember it's always good to wait until the beans are cooked to add your seasonings because you don't want to cook the beans longer than what you normally have to. If they mash, they're mushy. That means they're done and they're ready. And these beans are ready. So right now our beans have finished cooking. We're gonna add our vegetables. We're gonna pour in the onions, the green peppers, the red peppers, and the garlic. We're gonna give that a little twirl. Then we're gonna add our tomato paste next because you want it to cook and you want the heat to be able to take the clumps out of the tomato paste so that when you eat it, it's not clumpy and you get a big chunk of tomato paste in your mouth. Then we're gonna add our seasonings. We're gonna put in the granulated garlic, a little bit of cumin, seasoning salt, and cayenne pepper. And again, we're gonna stir and after we get everything combined, we're gonna put the top back on and we're going to let it simmer on the stove for about another 40 minutes. So now we're gonna check our soup. It's been simmering for about 40 minutes. As you can see, our vegetables have cooked down. The tomato paste is combined, which gives it this pretty orange color. So now, we're gonna turn the flame off, let it sit, and it is ready to serve. So now that our soup is done, we have two versions. We have our whole beans. And then, some of us like to have our soup pureed. Blend it for about 30 seconds until it's smooth. Then we have our condiments. We have a little cheese. We have some white onions, red onions, green onions, olives, and croutons. So you can dress it up however you like to dress it up. Eat it however you like to eat it. Some people like a little, I like pepper jack cheese because it's a little spicy. Gives it another kick. But here is our navy bean soup. <laughs>